Welcome back people. Um, today we are going to be looking at the heating in the bus and I've actually pulled that out of the bus which is a cable and it's no longer connected where it should be and I think that's the remnants of uh, the, um, the heater cable uh, that runs through the, the, the pipe. So I'll show you the new piece just over here and this is what we've got to install. Um, here it is here. So they give you a loop a Piece of cable. It's got those two little ends on it and This little part here and then you get these two little guys which are What goes underneath the bus on the the back um, heater tubes? So we're going to endeavor to install this and I've never done it before so it's actually going to be a first for me and I know once you come in here, uh, let's just turn the uh, brightness up here a bit. Here we go. You've got this little guy here, and the way it works, obviously those cables run down inside underneath. And you turn this guy, which obviously pulls um, those cables, and then underneath the bus there's uh, obviously the cables get attached to the heater boxes. And they yank the flaps open, and, uh, and then you get heat into the cabin via this little guy here which is always a hilarious setup i reckon you've got this little guy here you open it and you've got your you've got your air pouring out onto your feet from here and then when you want to shut it you push it that little guy there and it shuts it off it's um yes very uh very rudimentary but um it works you know this is the good thing about it so um not a lot of complex moving parts um, funny story, when I was actually uh, um, restoring um, my 61 bus and I'd got it from a, from a paddock and, uh, and it was just a shell and got it home and we were cleaning it all out and I actually opened this up and a bloody rat came flying out this hole, <laughs> I couldn't believe it and it absolutely scared the bejesus out of me. And um, yeah, it, it's it. I don't know. There seems to be a thing with rats and buses and me because my my mate's uh, sixty ute. Um, we got it home from a property, and in this section in here, <laughs> there was a massive rat nest under the and the bench seat was in, and we I pulled the bench seat out, and two rats come flying out at me, and I just thought you got to be kidding me. What what what's it with the rats and 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 split screen buses? Anyway, um, I'm always careful now whenever we find them. So um, yeah. here's uh, the part we've got to remove. And um, this little guy here, I've actually lubed this up already so I know it's going to come off. But basically, unscrew that. Like so. And then, pull this out. And you can see <laughs> there's no cable attached to it. So I've pulled one of them out. I've got a feeling the other one's either been pulled out or it's still in there and we're going to find out sure enough. But this part here, um, we'll just take it down over onto the bench here. And obviously, looking at it, I think that little hoop goes around that little pin there. So, okay. So it looks like we've got to remove the pin. So let's go and take that to the bench, pop it in the vise, and obviously, ah yeah, there you go. So there's actually, I would say looking at that pin, that end looks smaller than that end. So we'll try to tap it out from this way. So I'll grab my little tappy device. Oh yeah, that, that tapped out without it, any force at all. So that's obviously how they've got you to, to do it. There we go. Those Germans were thinking. That's good to see. So, all we do is grab the loop. Grab the loop here. And we put the loop in there like so. And push the pin back in. 
and of course once that's inside the, the sleeved chamber the pin can't fall out so yeah I like it there we go and, I, and the way it works you're twisting this guy and it's twisting the cables which is then making them gather and they start pulling and then that pulls the flaps underneath cool well that was easy <laughs> but somehow I think the next stage is not going to be easy and I think what we might do first that um, looks pretty crappy and I don't have a new one of those so we might actually just um, give this a bit of a, a clean so we might just pop out that uh, pop that back out for now how do we go cleaning this guy out let's have a think about this a bit of sandpaper maybe maybe do it on the linisher on the buffing wheel let's have a look let's see what happens here this is a bit of an experiment That's better. That part there's a bit shinier. I've just got to try to get this guy sorted. All right, we're going to try a bit of wet and dry, a bit of 1200, and just see what happens because a bit of an experiment with this. I don't really know what this plastic is, and I just want to see whether or not. I don't know. Years of. Uh, Grease and crap might come off, I don't know. Let's have a look. It seems like it's doing something. You're looking a bit cleaner. Might actually need something a bit uh, heavier. Yeah. Let's try the sander. I want something quicker. I yeah, just want to see what's going to happen here. Now we just got to get in that little crack there. I know I could have bought a new one of these, but you know, good. I, there's there's satisfaction in cleaning and putting back in an original piece, right? You know, an aftermarket garbage. A lot of it is garbage. So, yeah, that little seam. Hmm. I have a better idea. Oh yeah. Now you know where I'm coming from, right? Makeshift lathe. Nice and ginger. Don't go breaking shit. Now a bit of polish, because we like polish. Nice. Look at that, just with a little bit of elbow grease and ingenuity, you can bring back something that looked like crap before to something that's almost looks oh, I just went and put grease on it didn't I okay let's just try that again there you go so you can see 
you can get something that was uh, pretty crappy looking um, and bring it back from the dead. Nice original part, almost looks brand new. Happy with that. Like so. Come into the car, bus, vehicle, transporter. I. That one will not. Oh no, this one goes in. So one is playing ball. Okay, so we'll just wind this little guy on. Make sure we've got him nice and tight. Okay, looks good. Um, now we need to go to underneath the bus. So back up on the hoist it goes. Or we'll up, up, up. See the little parts they're giving us. Okay, that kind of makes sense. That gets screwed into there. That gets put onto there. Now I think this part we already have. Yes, we do. There it is there. So both of those parts are dangling. So we don't need to use you and you. All we need is those guys. Okay, so you can see here, uh, that's how the cable gets connected to the, um, the uh, arm, the pivot arm. And um, you know, you got a little grub screw there and you just tighten her up. And obviously the way it works, if I can uh, get some light on the subject here. So obviously once you turn the, the knob on, inside in the cabin, it um, starts gathering up the, the cable either side and it pulls on that. And then you can see up the top there, that's what actually opens um, the flap and then lets the heat from the heater box run through the tubes and then all the way to the front and up into your legs and um, obviously once you turn the knob back closes it off so yeah pretty pretty easy mod um, or easy fix I should say uh, that's one more thing ticked off for this bus and move on to the next one so that's um, one more job done for this bus and uh, now we can move on um, to the next job list so we can move on to the next job cheers all right well uh, we'll jump out of here and get this guy back down on the ground um got to see what else we have to do to this bus uh, there's one other one other job that i'm not 100 percent sure on and it's actually the horn i've got a a straggly I've got one more wire to come off the horn. That one there goes to the top of the steering um, column. And then there's another wire, which I need to go and find out. And I've got a feeling it's this one here. I've got it just crimped at the moment. I think that must, it's the only other one down here. So I think it has to go down, uh, go up to that one. But uh, yeah, get the horn hooked up. I think pretty much everything else under here is um, nipped up. So uh, yeah, we can get this thing back on the ground. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. Uh, not sure what the next one is going to be, but um, yeah, we'll work something out. Um, go from there. All right, cheers, guys.